Hello everybody, this is Sirik 1983 and welcome back to Neverwinter Nights. Alright, so at the end of the last episode we talked to Archdruid Awil at the request of uh, Ballard in the Port Last, and it sounds like things are pretty serious with the Neverwinter Woods, so uh, we've taken the task upon ourselves to set things right. Anyway, so also since last time I did uh, identify the uh, pieces of uh, wep the armor and weapons I got, this is the Death Shroud Axe. It's uh, plus one, but it's got massive criticals, so every critical hit you do, it adds an extra 1d6 roll to it. So uh, if you're using double axe, <laughs> it might be worth your time. And then this is a breastplate plus three, so, all right. All right, let's talk to Dregan and head into the Neverwinter hey, ye! And see what's going on here. First hand. Ah, <sighs> oh, hello. You attack the enemies. Alright, so yeah, there's a, dru a dryad up there. I'm not going to talk to her yet, just because there are enemies around here that can hurt. So, uh, ah, crap. Uh, 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 I just don't want to uh, get it interrupted with my conversation with her. So let's take out these bo these animals over here, and then uh, I'll attack them. She gives up. All right, let's talk to her. The rage, it burns me up. It makes me want to kill you. I'm trying to control it, but please be quick. What do you want? What is causing the rage? I don't know. The rage just fills my mind. It makes me see... It makes everyone seem like an enemy. I don't know you or who you are, except that something makes me hate you. What could affect your mind in such a strong manner? Must you keep talking to me? I must flee sooner, or else I will be forced to attack you. The only being I know of who has th that kind of power is the spirit of the wood. But it has never caused harm before. I don't know why it would start now. No, he has spared me. I must not do such things. Sorry, Master. Uh, do you know what I might do to stop it? I don't know. I can't think. The spirit hasn't been here in a while. It doesn't travel by here now. I don't know why. Maybe if you could find someone whose mind isn't affected by the spirit's power. Who wouldn't be affected? How should I know? I never go far from my tree. You are the ones free to roam around. You should know these things. You're so stupid I should... Uh, never mind. Maybe, maybe the druids could help. Or the nymphs. Or even the witch. Well, tell me about the druids. There are some druids wandering around here a while back. I don't know where they went because I was hiding so I wouldn't have to attack them. They were dangerous. They wanted to hurt me tree. No, no. That is the hate speaking. Uh, why would the nymphs not be affected? I didn't say they wouldn't, did I? I just said they might they might not. How should I know? I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep yelling at you like that. Uh, well, tell me about the witch. Sitara is the witch of the wood. She comes here sometimes. She is bad and wants to eat me. No, wait. She is good and she helps me. I wish I could think clearly. This is so hard. You must be careful when you deal with Sitara, though. She has a hard time dealing with people. It's because of her face, of course. What do you mean, because of her face? She used to be beautiful, but now she is ugly. I don't know what happened since she doesn't like to talk about it. I just know that she thinks that people are always judging her by her looks. She won't talk to you because you're evil. You want to kill us all and burn our trees, so she won't talk to you, and I'm not going to tell you how to get her to talk to you. Get away from me. I'm not going to hurt you now. Stop yelling at me. Oh, Master, I'm sorry. I just can't control this much longer. I will tell you what I might do, what you might do, but then you must go. The witch Sitara would give anything to have her looks restored. One day, one of the nymphs told me that she had something that made people think they were beautiful. I don't know anything more than that, but you might be able to trick Sitara with that. Now, please, let me go and you should leave before I'm overcome. I guess you had better flee now. Goodbye. No, I will not flee. I will strike you down and kill. Oh, no. Yes, I will flee. You must... Get away from me, my tree. If you remain close, I will lose control and attack you again. Goodbye and good luck. All right. So, Satara apparently is, uh... Something's happened to her, and uh, she's no longer beautiful, apparently. Isn't there someone that, uh... We were looking to do the exact opposite for? Maybe something to do with Sharwin and her tail? I wonder if we'll find anything in there. And here lies Kend, beloved of Henna, one with the spirit. Oh. Wasn't Henna one of the people over in the Druid, the Druid Grove? Nah, I don't think that has anything to do with the story, but uh, maybe the Witch of the Wood will have something to do with the story, or at least a story that we know of. So let's uh, continue clearing out this right. map. What a <laughs> one hit kill. And uh, see what we can find. Ooh, got another deer. Let's go over here first, though. 
pray to whatever gods you worship. Oh, I thought he was dead. There! There! This thing's hit hard, damn. <laughs> Alright, and some stones. If it weren't for the fact they were hitting me so hard, I'd say I was over -level leveled for this place, but you'll see what I mean. I'll just. Yeah. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> Got another boar up there. <laughs> Prepare to become one with eternity. Keep an eye on my HP. Uh, can I rest? Actually, do I need to? Do I have any more? Oh, yeah, I've got plenty of extra potions. Uh, yeah, I'll rest. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I know I could have technically used the, uh, cure, or the cure critical wounds, but, yeah. I may actually need those. Judging from how hard I'm getting hit here. <laughs> Another boar. Your Another fire. end draws nigh. And we got another cave. Oh. I guess we'll have to check that out at some point. Sweet. Anything else? Nope. Oh, got some up here. Another deer. Your end draws nigh. Leads in even deeper into the woods, so yeah. Got a couple of barrels up there. Anything to kill? Yeah, got a boar up there. This stump looks suspicious. Maybe that's another area we'll have to check out. Right, there's the remains. I can't see, it's too dark. Alright, let's head over here. Anything else? Hey, Cal, come on. Another boar. <sighs> <laughs> Prepare to become one. Now use a cure critical. Alright, anything else? There's the shrub, there's the uh, dryad's tree, and the boar. Whatever gods you worship. Ha! There! There! Alrighty, so, yeah, let's go. How am I doing on levels? Yeah, I'm fine. Alright, let's, uh, start with the cave and, uh, search that place. See what we can find there. And then I'll come back up here. Alright, so, uh, well, this is actually called the Cave of Spiders, so guess what we're gonna be fighting when we go in there, yeah. <laughs> lots and lots of spiders, but, uh, alright, where's my... Definitely gonna need protection against poison. 
Uh, anything else that I can put on? Hmm, nothing in there. What else we got here? Pen of the Elf, Natural Armor. Hope I find another one like that. And that's just dexterity. And... Alright, so I guess... Yeah, I guess that's all the time I have for this episode. So the next episode, well, we'll head into the Cave of Spiders and see if we can uh, find any uh, information regarding the Spirit of the Wood or maybe even the Cult. I guess we'll have to find out next time. This is Cyric1983 signing off. Thank you for watching and have a good one.